And we're back once again. Okay. Yeah, had some roommate stuff coming. And, yeah. I didn't even see him that time. That sucks. Down here somewhere. Uh, one of those corners. Oh, that one hit. Hit with the very last shot. You guys just don't want to die. Oh. Just don't die, do they? So I need the straight firing because I'm on the upper side of the door. Because they're on the lower side of the door, they have better angles. So they're more protected from the door, but are still able to shoot through it, effectively. I thought I was holding shift there! Turns out I wasn't! And there was nothing on one. Anyone? Anything at all getting hit. Anything at all. Oh, there's an angle. Uh, it's all about finding these stupid angles at which I can hit. How does it come from pretty low down? Okay, so there's all the ones I know about. Now, apparently there's just a full line! A full freaking line of them! Right here! Why? I have the projected angles. I guess even though I'm upper and they're lower, in that instance I had a projected angle and they didn't. And if you want an acting knowledge of how this game calculates attack angles, play Rogue. You learn everything you wanted to know and more about attack angles. And there was nothing in this room, just a freaking pile of demons. Okay. Nothing useful. Just experience points. Down a really long hallway. I guess there was a boss down this way. So I killed him and that gave me an axe that was useless. But... Yeah, nothing down this hallway. Just a total dead end. This is surprisingly, like, linear for a catacomb. Started up there, came down here, came down there, dead end. So what's down this way? Let's find out. Ooh, hit a bat. Found some more demons. They opened doors! They just passed a door and they opened it. How did they do that? That's so freaking annoying. Again, opening doors is apparently one of the most evil things you can do. Just opening doors with no reason to open them. Because it aggro's monsters! It's like they're calling for help by opening doors. I mean, not that this room is a great room anyway. You know, I'd rather be able to engage enemies on my own. I'd rather be able to engage them on my own time instead of having them automatically aggro to me. Oh darn it, their armor class is actually high enough to avoid uh, just getting hit by everything. Okay, so it's gargoyles, familiar, oh, wing demons, familiars, 
fire clan. Archers. Not the worst setup, admittedly. There's no crazy aggro monsters. Bats are pretty general approach. That's like a safe guarded approach instead of an all out flanking approach like melee goat demons or skeletons. Uh, oh, didn't see you there. This dark orange blends in surprisingly well. Especially when it's black when not being lit up. Uh, no, no, why? Why did you open the door? I've learned something today. I've learned that I don't appreciate people who open doors randomly. Wow. Is that trap, when you think about it, as like a wire going all the way over to the opposite end of the hallway. The slowest, least efficient trap ever. Don't even need to see you. To shoot you. Is that a shrine? Secluded shrine. Hmm. Don't remember that one. Don't think it was a good one. Oh, killed two in a single arrow. Or maybe just the two arrows hit at the same time. I don't think that lightning has an area of effect, but it might accidentally calculate as that. I think more likely case was just the attacks were being shot so fast that they both ended up hitting at around the same time. Okay, so that should be most of them. So one guy sitting there in a corner. Way is made clear when viewed from above. Hmm. Do I want this? Full auto map is really nice. At the same time, full auto map means I can't use the map to tell where I've gone and where I have yet to go. So that's the real question here. Wow, 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 wow. That was quick death. Die, please. Thank you. Full auto map is one of those that's like, yeah, it's kind of nice, kind of not. Really just depends. Um, yeah, let's stock up on more potions, because that fight took more out of me than I wanted it to. What's in here? More demons. Maybe more demons. Uh, eventually more demons. More bats. Yeah, resist magic, immune to lightning. Again, I don't know if magic applies to anything that's not just bone spirit blood star. In which case, I don't know why there was a need to have so many common enemies be resistant to magic. But it exists. And it makes those high tier spells of Bone Spirit and Blood Star, instead of being like, oh great, this is super awesome, this is a great spell, it just costs hit points to use. It actually makes the spells next to worthless because nothing actually takes damage from them because literally everything by the time you are facing, by the time you actually can get those spells because you have the right levels to make it spawn in the shop and you have the right magic to actually read the book. By the time any of that happens, you just don't 
fight enemies that aren't resistant or immune to magic anymore. Protected angles. Protected angles. Uh, they're protected angles. Also, my inability to hit things is coming back. Talk about needing more accuracy. Please hit something. Where's where I was coming from? Back that way. Okay, sure. Oh, there's a lot more enemies than I thought there were. This sucks. Oh, there's the angle. Thought there was the angle, maybe not. Let's load up this belt again. I wish there were easier ways to do this. Thank goodness Diablo 2 for introducing hotkeys for that. Oh, the keyboard shortcuts, maybe not hotkeys per se. Um, I pressed a button to drink a potion. There was no more potion on that button. That was my mistake. Composite staff. Are all these chests trapped? Must be. Click. Click. Okay, nothing of value here. Wonderful. How close am I leveling? I am about to level. Okay. Where were the stairs? Did I pass the stairs? Oh yeah, I passed the stairs immediately as soon as I entered the, the level. Of course, how could I forget? Well. Every door is trapped now, what? Okay, sure. Have it your way. That's floor seven. Wow, that was surprisingly small. Just had a couple really long hallways. Oh fun, a goat shrine. My favorite. I'm assuming it's going to be guarded by a mix of archers and melee guys. Nope, just archers. Knight clan archers. As if life couldn't get more annoying. Welcome to the knight clan. Population archers. I shot through there. I shot through there once. By not targeting him directly, I targeted him directly. If I try to target him directly, I died. Why did he charge up a melee range to me? I don't know. Is this game going to get weirder? Probably. Gotta get weirder before it gets more normal. Because weird is normal. Got that level up. Instantly die as I pass the corner. No big deal there. Die, please. Let me shoot, please. I think.
think Night Clan is resistant to lightning, isn't it? I forget if it is, but I think it is. I'm pretty sure it is. I don't like it. I don't like it. Don't like the Night Clan. Maybe? Maybe by lighting literally everything on fire I actually did something useful. And they're probably all standing in those gaps between the fire, aren't they? Yep. But because they want to follow to set up a shot, they'll walk right through it. At least fire works on these guys compared to the last group. Magic is not always what it seems to be. Mm, could be a problem. Huh, less of a problem than I thought. Uh, that reduces one spell's level by one and increases all other spells' levels by one. This time it reduced Town Portal, so I'm glad I had level 2 Town Portal. I'll keep it. Uh, speaking of spells, though, we needed one more point of magic to be able to learn Stone Curse. And we need dexterity to be able to hit things again. Um, what's my inventory looking like? Heavily damaged, heavily damaged, not identified. No more potions! Great! If you will recall, I was complaining about archers earlier. Rather, I was saying in relief, well, we haven't faced archers yet, at least. And now you probably see why. There's nothing you can do about archers. Oh, shoot, acid demons. We have a fast, physical, ranged attack that leaves a puddle. I don't know if it's actually physical or if it's spell-based, because it's, it might be a physical spell, because it seems to automatically hit if it touches you, no matter what. And it leaves a puddle beneath you of acid that burns if you step through it. Not enough mana. Did I leave a one space gap where they could walk through without fear of the fire? I did, didn't I? Or maybe they're just immune to fire and I'm an idiot. Could very well be the case. Anyway, they're aggressive, they minorly flank. In other words, they're smart AI most of the time. I actually prefer it when they have a unique monster. Because having a unique monster and they're in a cluster means that they're just going to stay put and launch poison at you. And that's a good thing because their poison launching has a max range before it just stops. And that means they're not charging at you headlong. Because their melee attacks are freaking brutal. Not enough mana. Yeah, that did not do a thing. They just walked right through it as if it were nothing. It aggroed them without gaining sight, which is what I wanted. I didn't even cast that one right at all. I hate how much they freaking flank. I was to say I good. 
Why is there a eye freaking good? No, no, get off me. Get the heck off me. Healing scroll, go. Ah. Die, please. Need you dead. Need you dead right now. What? Did he just get stuck on the other side of an entryway? Screw it, I'll take it. Look, if he's being dumb, I will accept his stupidity. <sighs> I hate poison spitters. It's poison spitters and goatman archers. I don't like either of these things. These are a few of my least favorite things, and I'm really glad I didn't just die there because I did not pay attention to my life. Hello, my friend. Stay a while. Flaming and staff of brilliance. Ooh, nice. Reading glasses. Well, what can I do for you? Repair my helm. Repair my armor. Repair my bow. Sell my sword. Crystal Bow of Lightning. Ooh. Mm. Higher lightning damage. And... I think it's higher lightning damage. I think my current one is 1 to 6. Yeah. It's higher lightning damage. And it's magic resist. Well, what can I do for you? And it's trading 2 points of minimum for 3 points of maximum. Um, I think that's worth it. And it has slightly more durability, too. Screw it, let's buy it. Well, what can I do for you? Armor of the stars. What's my current armor? Oh, yeah, arcanes. Well, what can I do for you? I want that armor. I want that armor so bad. 40. Four, five, 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 six, six, five, 70. Okay, good. I have enough money. Yeah. I don't want that armor for now, but I want that armor for later. Well, what can I do for you? I don't have room in my inventory. No wonder. Oh, what can I do for you? And a bow of plus strength. Don't care. Okay. Yeah. So this, as you can see, boosts my fire resistance to seventy percent, just the cost of like fifteen hit points. And slightly. And slight uh, damage from enemy production. I really hope that armor is going to come in useful what later on. You, my friend? I spent a lot on that. But I'm pretty sure that'll be a good investment. If I start fighting, for instance, lava demons or advocates. Basically, literally anything that isn't... Anything that actually is fire-type damage that isn't just a uh, ball rog. I'm going to very much appreciate the assistance in having 51 extra fire res. Ugh, that is sickeningly good. And keeping the faster hit recovery. Well, fastest hit recovery, which skips like three frames of animation. Uh, which, when you're getting hit quite a bit, means you might actually have a chance to get out of a stun lock that you wouldn't otherwise be able to escape. Plus, I'm getting so much freaking gold that, even though that's a ton of gold, 
I can still make up for it. Also not how I wanted to cast that spell, but it works. Because the AI is stupid. Someone die already. Thank you. Okay, that was worth the mana. That was worth the mana, because otherwise it would be a lot more healing potions. Restock. This is one of the few times that casting vertically actually helped. Die, please. Thank you. A bow I picked up. Oh, Magical Hunter's Bow. Okay, that's a kill. One more. There we go. Drink and be refreshed. I like that. That is a good shrine. It's a refilling shrine attached to two full rejuves. Heavy bow of plenty. Uh, unfortunately, it only modifies the base damage of the bow, and not my extra damage from dexterity, otherwise it'd be overpowered. Ow! Okay, sure. Your game will play it that way. We'll play it your way. As you're willing to play at mine every once in a while. Okay, just a small room. Ooh! Horn demons. I realize they can open doors! Yes, when enemies start realizing they can open doors. Luckily, horn demons are not the brightest of the bunch when it comes to getting stuck on others. They don't exactly flank very well. They just kind of run up towards you, and, and then and they die. I might as well reload this. Inventory. Oi, oi, stop it. Knew it. Are you not dead? <sighs> okay, that side's cleared out. It only cost me a decent amount of everything I own. I hope this armor is decent. I mean, it's nothing in armor class, so it's not going to be that helpful there, but... It could be nice when it comes to actual fixes on it. Since I'm playing Hell Mode, anything's possible. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Oh, shoot. Actually, yeah, remember what I said about <laughs> um, almost preferring when they have a unique attached to them? That's the case right now. Because they're just going to be standing still while I pepper them with arrows. I 
as long as I don't move from this exact spot. Come on, there's a ball of fire through the door. Why aren't you getting hurt by it? It is a roll to hit, not a guaranteed thing. Or maybe I'm just at their maximum range if they're attacking through the door. Uh, how do you like that? Something tells me you don't. No resistances, no immunities. This is the real way to take on acid beasts. Is just get them in a group with their unique. Lure them out to max range and peg them from afar. Or just take them on from inside a doorway because apparently their projectiles are too big to fit through the doorway. Sun for everyone. Scroll of not useful. Awesome. And what's in this room? You said horn demon, you'd be correct. Ooh, big room. Big room. Got some here. No way. Am I actually protected by the door? What is this? I have the door advantage. I have the door advantage. This is a new feeling for me. I'm not gonna have it for everyone, but I'm gonna have it for now. You bet I'm gonna take advantage of it. I had the door advantage and it felt wonderful. Full rejuvenations, full rejuvenations. I think they changed rejuvenations from yellow to purple just to be more logically clear on what they do. Because, I mean, you just see a yellow potion and it's like, hmm, what does this do? It looks cool. What does it do? Duh. It's from with fighting acid beasts in melee. They have stupidly fast attacks. Okay, sure. Sure, game will play it your way. Nice, two kills. I can only assume that this room is full of enemies. Assumption half correct. Let's see how stupid they are. Ah! 
Oh. Oh, they waited for me. Fast attack speed doesn't look like it do much. It does. One of my more hated enemy types, these freaking acid beasts. I remember when I was leveling my sorcerer to 30, uh, there was a good chance that level 13 could spawn lava maws, which are acid beasts that are, I believe, immune to fire? Either immune or highly resistant. Stone Shrine. This one refreshes all staves. Totally useless for me. Yeah, there's a chance level 13 can spawn lava maws, and I didn't like that. And so until I got high enough level chain lightning to effectively deal with them, in the end I think I just reduced myself to just using stone curse a lot. But until that, I started, I ended up just resetting a lot whenever I found them. Ooh, Gothic Plate. Gothic Plate the one I can use? No, Field Plate's the one I can use. Gothic Plate is heavy. Second heaviest armor in the game. Ow. Ow, the charge hurts. The charge hurts. Turns out the charge hurts. So they do charge. They do head right for you. They aggressively approach. But they still flank. They still do flank. That's a lot of them. That's a lot of demons. That was a horrible use of firewall. Die, please. Die, please. Well, at least I'm able to kite them because they're not as fast in the uptake because. Other monsters. Yeah, horn demons sometimes just kind of stand still, menacing, but but dumb. Ooh, I'm not going down that ladder just yet. Oh, I saw some motion on that side. Guess not. Did I? I got arcanes, which means I either have Zar the Mad, or no wait, Zar the Mad is in the next quest set with um yeah, Zar the Mad is in the lower quest set with uh Black Mushroom and Anvil of Fury. It's paired with arcanes then. I swear it was three quests in that group. Maybe it's just two. Maybe just one of two. I thought it was two of three, though. It's Arcanes, Halls of the Blind, and I thought... Oh, Magic Rock. Yeah. No Halls of the Blind today. No Amulet of whatever. Pretty sick right now. And that doesn't cause an issue. Otherwise, if you see a cut, just gonna need to leave, leave my computer for a bit. And I'd rather not. I'd rather just finish this floor. Yeah, Magic Rock was the third was the third quest in the set of two. Could you not do that, maybe? You know what? 
Screw it. I have Stone Curse. Let's abuse the heck out of it. say as I continue to not use it at all. Acid Beast dead. Now it's just the melee guys. Nope. There's a second Acid Beast. Why does that hurt so... Oh yeah, because it's literally a charging demon. Of course that hurts a lot. Oh, he's stuck behind a barrel. Nice. Sometimes after charging, they just kind of get stuck. You went down, just open that door. Just because you know how much I hate it. <laughs> Screw you, demons. Hate you so much sometimes. Really are evil. Opening doors. Stone curse. Not even once. to let them approach me. Not even once. Stone Curse is probably the best panic button spell on the game. I think it works on literally every enemy except for Diablo. I don't know if it works on the Butcher and the uh, Skeleton King. It might. I think it does. Pretty sure it does. I don't know for sure. That was the stupidest I've ever seen Goat Demons act. I'm perfectly okay with it. I agree with the other ones. Hope, hope they act as stupid as well. Oh, they're just trying to flank me, is what they are. Huh. Apparently they didn't want to act stupid. They got the memo. Nope. Nope. That was the wrong button. That was the rage quit. Oh, not the rage quit button. That was the new game button. The full rage quit button was a bit lower than that. Okay, that's reasonable. I think there's one more in there. Nope, no more. Oh, hey, my inventory is filled with gold. What a wonderful blessing that is. You know, something that would make that actually worthwhile would be if they scaled up the gold on higher difficulties. But they don't. Is that a room I haven't explored? Yeah, but it was just the stupid acid beasts. I don't really want to go down there. I should go down there. I don't really want to go down there. Uh, I really don't want to go down there. Could have a good item. I'm going down there. So otherwise, this was a pretty small level. I guess it wasn't too small. I got that whole hallway over there. I'm going over there. It's probably just one room, but I'm going over there. Oh, yeah, and I should probably read this Many book. demons travel to the mortal realm break. in search of the three brothers. These demons were followed to the mortal plane by angels who hunted them throughout the vast cities of the east. The angels allied themselves with a secretive order of mortal magi named the Haradrim, who quickly became adept at hunting demons. 
They also made many dark enemies in the underworlds. Interesting. Really short book. Hello. Hello, acid beast that actually died. Hey, you just want to stay in place, that's fine. Be my guest. Make my job easier for me. I'll greatly appreciate that. I think literally everything on Hell Difficult to resist fire. Except for things that are already highly resistant or immune to lightning. That's gonna help me a little bit more than Stone Curse. Oh, baby. Gotta be careful with that. Gotta be careful with that. Yeah, the experience drastically increases, such it's like, oh, just gain another four and a half million. Just get to the next level up. Why not? Not like it's any tough or anything. Hey, Fountain of Tears. Wonder what that's gonna change. Honestly, if it decreases my strength by one, I might just keep it, just in case I get. Now where would I put this? Like any strength. Uh, now where would I put this? Uh, what's it called? Just in case I get like a strength uh, elixir, because then I can actually use it instead of it just being a waste. Any strength boosters are worth money though. It's like stat boosters and fire emblem. You want to use them, but they're also worth a good amount of money. Oh! Oh! Forgot about you! You were waiting for me. Apparently I can't just strafe like that, because these guys are better at strafing than I am. Okay, now that we've cleared out the entryway, how many more demons are left in there? At least two, if not, like, five. Okay, dude, I was kidding. I don't want there to be five in there. I can't even fit five in... What spells can I cast? 34, okay. Okay, sure. Oh wait, they resist fire. Doy, I'm a dumb. I am one singular dumb. What type of book did you drop? I wonder. It's a mace. That is a book of telekinesis. Not the best book in town. Not the worst, but not the best. I'm going to forget that thing exists, though. Anything in here? Oh yeah, the fountain. To be expected. To be expected. And now there's only one demon left. Where is it? Here he is. He's having a good old time. Just running in circles. Ah! Running in freaking circles. Running in freaking circles. Running in freaking circles. Hiding behind the fountain as well. Ah! Strafing. Ooh. Clever girl. I 
wants to do is set up this charge. What are his whole entire purpose in life? Set up this one charge. And I ruined him. Ruined it. That was... Minus one vitality, plus one dexterity. Okay. Just literally just the opposite of what the last one was. Sure. Sure, game. I'll take that. Got some items to ID. Got some stuff to sell. Everyone's happy. Hello, my friend. Stay a while. What a brilliance. Ooh, that's. That is a. That's better reading glasses. Well, what can I do for you? So, gothic. Full plate mail. Costs less than gothic plate. Good to know. Good to know. I would like a decent helm. If you can get one in stock, old Grizzy, it would be much appreci much appreciated. Well, what can I do for you? Ah, Grizzy B. Yeah, it's one better reading glasses, plus lets me use a shield. In case they ever have a shield with plus magic on what it. What ails you, my friend? Twenty-two. Should be good. Repaired item. Got a town portal scroll. Let's do this. You know, I think this was actually worth it. We're coming down. Not for the fountain, of course not. But for the extra gold from those items, it was pretty worthwhile. Made up for the price of potions that I had to drink, and then some, and the repairs of my armor and weapons. Uh, who else is in there? More archers? More archers. Book of Firebolt. Oh! I saw that one coming and I was afraid. I was afraid. Firebolt is just a very overpriced mana potion at this point. I really don't need to use that. It might even be worth carrying around if I end up full on inventory space. Um, but it goes so well with the other book. It just stacks perfectly. Almost missed 400 gold there. And now we've finished the catacombs. And where's my phone? So I can check the time. Which time do I have left? Ah, uh, it's three. I have one more hour, I think, to play before I have to go to class. That's the catacombs down, so welcome to the caves. <laughs>